you're looking at out-of-state investing in the Cleveland market, you want to make sure you come here first so we can talk about your investment. Make sure you're doing the good deals, avoiding the bad deals. Today, I'm going to be going over a duplex, a very high-end, expensive duplex for a client of mine who's living in the Denver area. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for my guy T Money. Now, T Money, you're from the Denver area, but you're originally from Cleveland Heights, right? So you. Uh, I have a decent knowledge of the Cleveland area, right? Specifically Cleveland Heights. And I've been working with you for quite a while now and sent you many videos. I think this might actually be the 10th video that I've sent your way. And I will tell you this, dude. This one is by far the nicest property I've sent you. You're going to get the most rent for this one. But conversely, bro, it is also the most expensive. But that's what I like to do, right? I like to give you many options and then you tell me which one you think fits your needs the best right so without further ado let's jump into the numbers on this cleveland heights duplex right now two please Welcome back. Let's pull up the property. Now, first thing I got to say, this is a nice, nice, nice property. It is very, very nice. Now, just because a property is nice does not always mean the numbers work, so that doesn't mean it's a good investment, right? I mean, like, the house that I'm building for me and my family, it's really nice, but it would never be like a rental property, right? So nice and uh, good rental. Not always one and the same, right? So that's the first thing I want to say. This is a very nice property in a very nice neighborhood, right? This is basically as turnkey as you're ever going to get in the Cleveland market, right? When you're working with properties on and off the market, folks, I know a lot of people look at things from like how a turnkey company will, uh, you know, professionally buy properties, rehab properties, sell you properties with tenants paying market rent, right? A lot of times you get investors out there that they expect that or think that that's like what regular landlords do. That's not the case, right? So if you watch my show, you see me talking to you guys often about properties where the mom and pop seller is renting it for here, but a professional company like Holton Wise would rent it for here, right? Uh, that's what you get. This one has been done and presented to you in the most professional fashion. These are the photos um, prior to them putting tenants in there. So they've already rehabbed it to how you want it to look. Uh, so it's as turnkey as it's going to get. And as far as the rent roll, they've already achieved market rent on this particular property, right? You see all the <clears throat> rooms and stuff here. These are side-by-side -side units, right? So the rents are a premium. You're going to get a ton of rent here based on two things. One, they're huge units. They're side-by-side. -side. And two, the neighborhood, Cleveland Heights. Very, very nice neighborhood in high demand. The dirt in Cleveland Heights, this part of Cleveland Heights, it's just worth a lot of money, right? You're near downtown, things of that nature, right? So you get professionals that want to live in these neighborhoods. As such, you'll get a rent roll uh, that's going to reflect that, right? So the address is 14441 Superior, Cleveland Heights. Just hit the market. They got it priced at 270 right? That's the thing. When you want a pure turnkey property where the seller has already rehabbed it, the seller's already getting the right rents, well, the seller's going to want a premium. They're going to sell it at pure market value, and that's what you're getting, and that's what you'll need to pay. But the numbers speak for themselves. This is, in my opinion, a great investment. Each unit, four bed, two baths, and again, it's a side-by-side. -side. Both units are already rented to CMHA tenants. One is paying five ninety one. The other's paying thirteen ninety seven. Now, you might be like, duh, they're both Section 8 tenants. 
Why is the rent different? Both units are about the same. Yeah, tell me about it. That's a great question that nobody has the answer to, right? Uh, we do a lot of work with Section 8 in the Cleveland market, probably one of the largest housing providers of Section 8 properties in all of Cleveland, the whole metro area, right? And what you need to understand is uh, CMHA, that's the housing authority that runs the Section 8 program in this market, right? And every state or city or this or that, you're going to get a different housing authority that runs their Section 8 voucher program, right? So on a national scale, you've all heard of Section 8. None of y'all have ever heard of CMHA, I guess. Uh, but for the purposes of like what we're doing, that's interchangeable. But if you're investing in, say, Florida, there'll be a different housing authority. Maybe it'll be like the Tampa Metro Housing Authority. I don't know. Uh, but CMHA, they run... Section 8 out here in Cleveland. And they're a government agency. And if anybody who's anybody who's anybody who's ever dealt with the government in one way or another, you know they don't do anything simple. They don't do anything easy. They don't do anything that makes sense. That's just the government, right? So in working with Section 8 and CMHA so often, I can tell you this. If you contact Section 8 and you ask five employees the same question, you're going to get five answers. That's just how it is. There's a lot of red tape and a lot of bureaucracy when you're dealing with Section 8. That's why a lot of property managers don't offer Section 8 management services. We do. We charge a little bit more, and that information is going to be on the FAQ on HoltonWise.com because dealing with all that bureaucracy takes a lot of effort. Uh, we, through that FAQ, have explained to you guys how they go through the process of actually figuring out what they're going to pay for rent in each unit. But again, if you ask five employees one question, you will get five answers. So uh, <laughs> very possible uh, they had two different uh, CMHA like appraiser people go out to the property and one guy decided it's worth fifteen ninety one, dollars uh, where the other guy decided it's worth thirteen ninety seven. Either way, you're getting a good rent, and that's just how the cookie crumbles, right? So uh, real estate, folks, real estate, rental real estate is not a perfect business. It is an imperfect business, and you just kind of got to roll with the flow, know what know what it's going on, right? So that's just things you're going to deal with. Uh, is it possible that maybe uh, the particular seller uh, could have fought hard uh, with the uh, the CMHA evaluation at 1397 and get it moved up to 1591 possibly but you know maybe 1397 got rented first and 1591 was second and he didn't want to mess with it maybe he just didn't want to go through the battle right because you've got to have a lot of time and patience to deal with cities right so that's why the rents are different but either way we're going to consider both of them pretty much market rent because you're you're doing very well at those rents right so 2988 is what comes in uh, that is 35856 for the year after you run your fixed and variable expense estimates, having my team manage it for you. I think you'll have a pure profit of about $16,783 uh, at the end of the day. Now, price, you got to pay two seventy, dollars right? Everything is done for you. It's turnkey. We're getting market rent. It's put on a platter. It is put in a box with a beautiful bow. So two seventy is what you're going to need to pay. The seller knows what they have here, folks. Uh, Sixty-seven and a half is what you need to put down. Your mortgage would be two hundred two, and it would net out to about a ten percent return on your investment, and you will have a very safe and solid rental property. If y'all watch my show. The Tenants from Hell show. I cannot guarantee you, you will not have somebody on that show in this property. But what I will say is it is less likely that you will deal with major problems while being in this neighborhood. So let me know if you're interested in making a move on this one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.